Hello and welcome. I'm Nathan. And I'm Garber. And, and this, this is Coffee, Coffee Talk. Talk. So, you may all wonder why we're dressed in white. Garber, can you explain to them why we are dressed in white? We are here in the lab, cooking up tracks, mixing that fire, trying to be scientists. Because in this episode, we're going to demonstrate for you guys how did it... <laughs> how we bashed chemistry. How we, how we barely passed chemistry. I'm pretty sure I had an A. I'm actually pretty sure I had like an A plus. I had more than 100%. I feel like we both had like 114 at the very end. Somewhere in there. I don't even know how I passed the EOC. <laughs> like, honestly. No, we didn't have an EOC, remember? Oh, yeah. That wasn't like an actual written test. So today we are here, we are gonna really talk about our high school experience. Because we have nothing better to talk about. Nothing ever happens here. Was just that class. It's like we didn't see each other other than in that class. I never had a class with anybody. In all of my, my years in high school, I only had like maybe like one or two people I knew in one or two classes. Like that was it. Most of the time I was all alone. I wasn't I wasn't a popular kid in, in uh, high school at all. I mean, people knew people knew who we were, but no one really like bef like no one really like talked to us or like hung out with us or anything. Like, it's just we were just a small group of like four guys. We were very small, very like <laughs> we were a tight knit family. Small click, click. It's not like click. that. Like other click. people hated us or anything. It's just that like. We were just friends with them. We, we didn't we, associate yeah. with them outside of school. No one, no one, yeah, no one really. Well, like, for us, like, here, we don't really have much of, like, a bullying problem. Even though, obviously, bullying happens everywhere. For, oddly enough, it never really happened at our school. The way it worked, I think we went over this last episode, it was more like the gang thing. Yeah. I definitely went over that last episode, though. So if you remember from last episode, uh, or the episode before, I can't remember which one but that's how our high school worked no one really everyone kind of like was in their own little cliques and then we had like territory wars and everything it was beautiful it was it was a uh, constructive chaos i say constructive because i had no other word to really say but that's not the main topic for this episode this our main topic is chemistry i, don't know, I actually hold up i got something for you i got i got something for this I have a book. All right. She gonna be a book. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're just gonna flip to a random page in the book. All right. We need ethylene glycol, <laughs> water. What the hell is going on here? Um, gas molecules. The ideal gas. Oil. This is something we can talk about. <laughs> Now, I'm in chemistry this year, and my I had my first class last week, and just in that lab, all of all of the memories of being in junior year chemistry was just, we honestly had some of the best times in chemistry. That's kind of like how, like, this relationship between us kind of, like, formed to make videos and everything. Yeah, like, we were friends before, but, like, that's where we became good friends. <laughs> that's where we, you know. Like, we were the only people who fucking knew each other in that class, and... Some bonding happened. <laughs> Two atoms just... Two atoms just joined together to form an ionic bond. Just like salt. I have some salt, actually. We can celebrate our friendship. Are you going to sprinkle that on the floor? <laughs> okay, I thought you were just going to be like... Okay. This was us. This was us, Garber. A lot of it's actually getting on the floor. Oh, the vacuum up. It's a dry compound. <clears throat> actually, yeah, no, dry compound. Woo! Salt, everybody. That's our first chemistry reference right there. Ha <laughs> ha! We're good. We should have like a tally marker of how many. <laughs> now that's where we really became good friends. I mean, like, that's kind of like where videos, kind of like our videos, ideas, kind of. Like... What am I trying to say here? That's where. Okay. Our creative geniuses just came together. And... Well, us. I feel like us working together because a lot of the stuff that we did involved like videos and everything. So that's kind of like what led into us making videos today. That's kind of where it all started. Even though we didn't progress anything after, you know, in senior year, but I mean, every now and again, maybe. Yeah. 
we still had those creative ideas. We didn't do anything with them until just now. But that's where it all started. It's where, it's where all this began. All of it. It all started in an apartment. Junior chemistry. <laughs> I'll start junior chemistry. No. Um, but we're just going to go over a couple things where yeah, some things that we did in chemistry. We were doing a lab, okay, and we were always the first to finish. We always, it always took everyone else the entire week, sometimes an extra week, to get the lab done. The reason for that was everybody else's groups, they had like six or seven people, and us, we just had two, and it was very efficient, like everybody else. They had to do extra of stuff to get enough for each person. Well, no, it's not even that, like, because... It's part of part of it is that, but I think really it's because like everyone else, like we're like friends and everything. They're like talking about the weekend and like you know, oh I scored a touchdown the other day. Oh you know I did some <laughs> cocaine. There's another chemistry reference for you. Like, cocaine is a mixture. It looks like salt, but it really isn't. <laughs> so don't get those two mixed up at, at all, okay? If you're not at a Very... party, that'll be a bad mistake. Um, but no, I feel like everyone else would just. No one was as efficient as we were, because we just kind of went in the class. We, we didn't really pay attention. We just read, like, the little, like, sheet that he gave us for, like, the lab. And then we would go, we would go to the little, you know, the little, like, lab table. There'd just be the two of us. Sometimes there's, like, a third person, like, a random, but, like... That random other kid who didn't have friends who was just like, hey, can I join you guys? We're like, sure. Sure. I mean... Whatever. <laughs> and we would, I mean, like, we were, the one thing that we were bad at, though, the little flint strikers. <laughs> we were really bad at wasting those. Oh, we ruined them. <laughs> then we figured out how to make smoke rings with them, and we were just... Oh my God. We were... Okay, if you strike them hard enough, you can make, like, the actual smoke rings from them. It's actually so cool. So we, like, hoarded, like, half of the flint strikers. Like, no one ever got the flint strikers, and then when they found them, like, half of them were, like, dead. <laughs> Just little nubs of flint because we were just back there. <laughs> well, no, we would. Once we found out, once you find out how to make the snow, the smoke rings, time of your life, really. Like, it really is so weird how it works. I even I don't understand. Like, you strike the flint, and because of the shape of the flint striker, somehow smoke is created in there. <laughs> and that whole process, and it just forms a ring if you strike it fast enough. It's really really cool but no we were that was the only thing i think we were really bad at every other time is we get back there we do the lab real quick follow the instructions write everything and we'd be done in like 20 minutes the crap that we did was pretty basic like we would take like a dirty nickel and clean it i mean they're pretty boring i don't stuff. remember what we were doing but we were melting pennies for some reason i don't remember why something about like changing the color of them but we ended up just melting them and breaking them in half <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah, I do remember that. And that was the only lab that we really got wrong and everyone else got right. <laughs> my personal favorite lab experiment that we did, we made soap. The way you make soap, so uh, this was like a brand new lab that our teacher was trying, trying out. What you do is you take like fat, so like any sort of fat, like pig fat, cow fat, and what you do is you take the fat and you you kind of like melt it down in a pan, you get the grease from it. And then you take that grease and you mix it with borax. I think there was borax and then I don't remember why. Lye. Borax and lye. But the borax was the, borax was the, the big one. The lye was just kind of like a, borax like compounded, compounds with the, the fat and then the lye. Well, the lye is for like the lye. Yeah, it's to keep it from being really like sharp and crystalline so it like cuts you. <laughs> That's right, the lye, the lye is the softener. So the reason why this one's my personal favorite is because everyone else, you know, used like the, the basic bull crap that, you know, the, the teacher get handed out. Everyone, oh, I remember everyone else used lard. Yeah. It was Just lard. Like store-bought tub of lard. Well, this is where we got creative. We used bacon, bacon grease, because bacon has, is actually mostly fat. If you look on the piece of bacon when you cook it, most of it's fat. Very little is actual red meat. We went back to my place because we had to get a whole bunch of this stuff. Like, we had to get... We cooked a so lot. much bacon. So we went to the store and we... And here's the cool part. We actually have footage of us eating that bacon from that day somewhere. Some, somewhere lost in the wilderness. We cooked... We went to the store and we bought like five or six packages of bacon. I remember they were on sale. Which is why we got so many. Yeah, we got the fattiest ones, like super if you, thick. 
If you want real fat bacon, bar S. Other bacons are available, of course, but if you want the really fat kind, bar S. Gotta make sure to keep it, you know, on an even plan. <laughs> no, bar S, that's the one we used. It just has the most fat. Bar S is like the fat, but the problem is they're really thin. Other bacons are available. They're really thin. If you want the most, I've learned actually afterwards, if you want to get the most grease, I don't remember what brand it is, but if you get like thick cut bacon, and I think what you can do is you can ask the, the, uh, the butcher to just cut off like all of the meat, red meat, and just have like the fat. And you can just ask them to give you the, a nice patty of bacon fat. It'd be so good. Anyway, we went back to my place, cooked all this bacon in the oven. It's also my favorite because we actually, that's our very first talk, talk, talkish video that we ever did. We never, we never fully finished it. We somewhat edited it, never really finished it. That was our first YouTube expedition. <laughs> Our very first, our very first YouTube endeavor. It was we named the it the name. dumbest. <laughs> so dumb. We we for some reason I don't know what was wrong with us. We called it Cheddar Chats. Why are all of our YouTubes named after foods and drinks? Because <laughs> food and drink is so good. But no, so we had all this bacon and what it is, is we had coffee and we ate bacon for the entire entirety of the talk show of the first episode of Cheddar Chats. We have it somewhere. We might introduce you to a clip of it. Maybe like a very small one if we do have it, but it's pretty bad. They were so awkward. Oh my goodness. There was like one scene there where Garber was. was like sitting in the room all alone for like five minutes, couldn't say anything because he's really bad at commentary. It was bad. It was just solid. Well, I had to go change out the bacon. But we actually got a lot of bacon. Like we got like a full like one of like the small Tupperwares. I'm not going to name off any more brands because I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Be it like every other word, you know, other Tupperware is available, other forks are available, other bacon is available, other coffee is available. It's, just be generic. If you're going to make a video, be generic, please. But no, so we collected a whole bunch of bacon, did our talk show thing, and we stuck it in the fridge because, you know, it was the weekend. We, did, we didn't have school the next day, so. And it, like, solidified. It's the weirdest thing. So we brought the solidified uh, bacon fat back to school, you know, when school was back in section. Section. Session. It was back in section. Session. 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 Secession. <laughs> school was back in secession. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're so dumb. Back on track. Back on track. And we had some extra bacon left over. I think we had an entire package left over. <laughs> and we still wanted some more bacon grease, so... The teacher and us, we planned to have like a, like an early meet that day. I remember he was late. Of course. He was late every day. He, he was late all every the time. Every day. I mean, we didn't really care, but he was late like all of the time. It was funny. But we scheduled an early meet. He was late. In other words, he was on time for everybody else. Yeah. And we spent the, we spent that class period cooking bacon and he brought eggs. I remember from his chicken farm and we had like bacon and eggs for breakfast that day. Everybody else in the class was so jealous. Every, yeah, everyone else is like, ah, oh, these I remember, guys are like, so genius. Like, even him, when we, like, proposed the idea, because we had to, like, write out, like, an idea, like, everyone was like, we'll use lard, 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 lard. And then there was just, like, we use bacon grease. Because we wanted, for some reason, like, me and him have, like, the same, like, brain style. It's like, we want to be different from everybody else. You got to keep it original. That's how you get places. Well, right. Like he actually, um, he actually wrote in my yearbook about this too. I have it in here. But I remember while we were cooking it, like three or four teachers who were like walking down the hall yeah. smelled it, and they came in. And they're like, "Smells good in here. What you guys doing? Oh, we're making soap out of bacon. We're making soap out of bacon. Got to cook the bacon first, but we've got to get them grease out. <laughs> oh well, smells good. Have fun. <laughs> smells good. Yeah, good, uh, good idea, Gates. No, uh, I gotta go find it. Nice Cuba's gunner. Maybe he went to, uh... Know, I'm gonna go off camera. He's gonna go, uh... I'll get up, finish up the soap story, but... No, we... After we cooked our breakfast little thing... We even have Max. Max Sparrock. can link to his page. <laughs> link to Max's page over there. Um, we were with him, and we all had breakfast together. It was really nice. Really relaxing. It was a good idea. It was a really good idea. All in all, then we used the bacon in the soap lab, and that's that, that's where everything went downhill. Boo! Put the sound effect in there. <laughs> everything went downhill real quick. 
because after we cooked the after you get like the bacon grease out and you mix in the boron boron you're a boron <laughs> after you mix in the borox and the lye you have to let it sit for what was it you had to put it in a little uh dish had to put it in a dish but like you know paper towel over it and then you had to let it sit for what was it like 24 to like 72 hours it was a long time it was like a week or something right it was yeah. It was something ridiculous. So we had to let it sit for a long time. So that whole week, you know, we were doing like notes and stuff. And then when we got the soap back, it was the worst smell of all time. Uh, I mean, it was soap. It would clean you, but it would it yes. Didn't smell pleasant. It, it would not. It was, I don't know that you would want it to clean. You. I would not. Uh, I would not wash myself with it if I was going out to prom that same day. That's how bad it was. <laughs> it was yeah. wrong. <laughs> he actually used it. Our teacher used it to wash his hands. He's like, oh, let me get a test drive. Break some off. Goes over to the sink. Real good, guys. <laughs> we, he was trying so hard to, like, you know, keep us, like, pumped up. But it, everyone knew we did our... It, it, it was a good idea. It, yeah. Good in theory. Poor execution. Smelled like shit. <laughs> Uh, it still got an A. We still got an A, though. Overall, it was a good adventure. We tried. That's we tried hard where the points came in. I'm gonna go try to find the comment, and you can go talk about the other, our other favorite project that we've done. So for our final project, we what was it? We had to come up with a some kind of presentation with some kind of experiment that we could do for a kind of science fair thing on the last day of school. So, Come you know, up with our own lab. Everybody else did all these cheesy things that they just found on the internet, and we had this brilliant idea to create a potato cannon and then test which kind of potato cannon fuel, combustion, would work best for whatever scenario, you know, distance, travel, uh, whatever else we had. We had to come up with a uh, a lab, so that was that was like because it was like the end of the course, so we didn't have like yeah, an actual the, test. He, EOC, he changed the final it. course exam. He just threw the test out the window, which I don't think was okay for him to do. But I found your signature. We did it. This is <laughs> <laughs> what was I doing? I'm gonna take Yiddish lessons. That's what Garber wrote in my yearbook. Oh, you see this. <laughs> Why did I sign G Money? I didn't even think that I was doing that then. You were! You really were! You were so dumb! Oh my goodness. Gotta learn Yiddish. <laughs> no. Why did I sign it there? Oh yeah, of all the places. I have a page for myself. I'm well, proud of that. I didn't know too many people. I didn't have anybody sign mine. Yeah. I didn't want it to be all written on. So, we spent, I don't even know how long, probably two months oh, just is. building the potato cannon. And then, you know, we brought it into school to show the teacher. And, you know, he was late, per the usual. <laughs> so, just a normal day. There was the teacher's room that was next door connected to his via this hallway where all, you know, like the uh, teacher science equipment was. So, we go in through, so we go in through her room. And we're just holding this potato cannon, and all she says is, Oh, you so cannot do that. <laughs> Apparently, it is against school policy to make a potato cannon. <laughs> it's well, expressed exactly as that. Well, we, what we didn't know. In all honesty, it's pretty common sense. You don't bring a potato cannon to school. It is a firearm. Well, Technically speaking. Really I'm so thinking. surprised we got it as far as we did. I can't believe we never actually got in trouble. <laughs> like, that teacher was like, I'm not going to tell anyone, but you got to, you know, like, get that out of my room. <laughs> yeah. So, we somehow snuck this potato cannon in. We snuck, <laughs> we we snuck, snuck it a in. firearm that was this big and this wide <laughs> into school, just like, under our arms. That wasn't even, like, the best bit because... We were decorating it like the day that same day, and we bought like a roll of uh, some it's like polka dot polka duct dot tape. Duct tape. Yeah, and we're wrapping this thing up, and the principal walks in, and we're <laughs> wrapping this thing with duct tape. So we have to like stash it in a way. 
Oh, what you guys working on? Oh, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. We uh, we're just melting we're, a penny. <laughs> we're finished. Uh, we're just we're just chilling. You know, waiting for everybody else to finish. <laughs> and we we totally dodged that whole like bullet. He really didn't know either. He knew about as much as we did. And which was nothing. Which was nothing. So. But commons, like we should have had some sort of commons. Like you don't bring that to school. Yeah. But we did get the okay from the principal to have that as our project. We just had to build the cannon off off campus, and we had to film. We could use footage off campus of us, you know, using it as long as you know everything was in there safe and according to safety and regulations, you know everything was okay. You know, we wouldn't get you know shot down by like health and safety. Yeah. As long as, you know, as long as we were okay, did everything off campus and the school couldn't get in trouble, we, it was all okay. Thing is, we didn't know that you couldn't bring it in because we had some, we had to bring in something. Yeah. To class because we couldn't just do nothing. So we brought in the potato cannon for some stupid reason. <laughs> got it around everybody. We actually, he actually got it to like stash it in the back of the classroom for a couple weeks so that way like no one would like see it ever. I brought it back home because it was having problems and we couldn't get it to fire. We weren't firing it at school, don't worry. We weren't firing it at school. We brought it back home and it wouldn't fire, so I had to go do a couple more modifications. I still have the potato can to this day. Only have shot it off once. And it wasn't like a legitimate firing it off. What is this? After I built it, okay, I, I brought it back home, you know, from the shop and was in my room, I was like dicking around, you know, waving around, because you know, that's what you do when you're a teenager. You <laughs> built a potato cannon, you're like, dude, look at it, I'm so cool. I bought, I just made a cannon, a can I made a cannon. <laughs> and my mom was sitting there and she's like using my computer for like Facebook or something. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna light it off. It's gonna be so funny. <laughs> Cause I, I know, I wanted to like so see- my original, work. my original like thought around this was that I'm gonna click it and nothing is gonna happen. Bear in mind that this was the same day that I've like finished putting it together so the glue fumes are still rushing on it. And this isn't like your normal like, you know, this isn't, I haven't like Elmer glue this thing there. <laughs> this was rubber cement. Like this, the gas is from this are explosive. So I go in there and I, I click the thing and it goes off. Like it legitimately goes off. It was, it, it was just, it was as if having a, your own cannon in your room go off, like, as a blink. It was so, like, scared the living crap out of my mom. She, like, flew out of the chair. She was yelling at me. She's like, what are you doing? She's like, I just went so to it now. I just thought it was going to not do anything, but it blew up, and I'm sorry. <laughs> and so then I stashed it, and we, when we went to go around to get the footage, this is the, this is the dumbest bit. Because we were out and we were, you know, setting off, getting the footage and everything, okay? And this guy down the street comes along and he's just, he's just like, You know you can't have that out here. You know, it's a fire hazard and he wanted us to, you know, to get out of there. And so we're being compliant and everything. We're saying, oh, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll listen to you. And again, but he, can't, he continues and he continues and he continues, okay? And he's like, you need to get this out of here, you need to get this out of here. He's just like, we can't move it if you're going to keep talking to us. Like... The more you have me talking to you, the more I'm not moving it. Like, that's how it works. We had, we, I'm so surprised we dodged so many bullets with that project, like, but no, we got, we, we got the footage that we needed at least, somehow. He, again, video, bad editing, <laughs> like, real, it's just real bad. Terrible editing. camera work, terrible acting. Terrible everything. Terrible just execution in general. Yeah, but the whole, so the whole idea behind the, yeah. so our, th our hypothesis was that um, if you use more volatile explosives, <laughs> it would make the potato go further. So, you know, if you use like hairspray, hairspray is pretty flammable. We can all agree there. It's very flammable. If you, so if you used hairspray and then shut off the potato cannon, the potato would go further if you use a hairspray rather than per se something like... Lysol, whatever. Yeah, we used um, Glade. We used Lysol, like, like the uh, the air freshener. Like if you used air freshener, because while air freshener is still um, flammable, it's just not as flammable. So we collected a whole bunch of different uh, flammable shoes. We collected the Lysol, like the little sprays things that you use for your shoes. We collect. We also use Right Guard. Other deodorants are available. Um, we also had some Axe. Again, all other deodorants are available. We had hairspray. Lysol, hairspray, 
I saw a hairspray, right. two, two different kinds of deodorant. Um, I feel like there was one more. We should have done starter fluid. That would have been really good. <laughs> and it, as it turns out, right guard was very, very volatile. <laughs> Like, not even, not even, like, fancy right guard. Like, I actually have some of it in here. It's probably the same bottle. It is the same bottle. This, I bought that. <laughs> this right guard. Um, if you're using this, stay away from fire. I think that's just general knowledge, not to spray things near fire. I'm, I mean, at all, like... This stuff is just so volatile. Don't have a lit candle in the bathroom while you're putting on deodorant. No, Bad no. idea. Axe? Here, here's the funny bit. Axe? Axe is okay. Because Axe wasn't that, wasn't that impressive. Axe isn't that volatile. Still would recommend you know, spraying it in your flame. But still, yeah, still not don't, not bad. direct, not like direct contact. But I could still light a candle in my bathroom and I'd be okay with spraying that. You don't want to use that. <laughs> like that, that shit will like blow up your bathroom. <laughs> That stuff is really volatile, as we discovered. And again, we have some footage of that of us blowing. We never actually shot any potatoes at. We just kind of we sprayed it in there, pumped some air, kind of like corked it. Let's see how see how loud it would be. The louder it is, the obviously the more volatile the explosion was. We just kind of based it off of what we were hearing. It was a really interesting experience. We almost got busted. Uh, should have gotten arrested. <laughs> if anything, we should have gotten arrested and detained. Well, the whole thing was the guy was like, you know, I'm a firefighter. If you don't have this out of here, by the time I'm done unloading my groceries, I'm calling the police. Okay, so here's the funny bit. For school, I can understand us getting, you know, getting, like, cuffed and everything, okay? That even though it's technically, like, a firearm, you can use it uh, in your, like, own, like, private area. So if, like, you're in your backyard, you can... You're, you're I would not recommend... I would never recommend someone doing this in the backyard, though. Let me tell you why. Um, with the potato cannon, the biggest concern is that when you, like, shove a potato in here, in the, in the actual cannon itself, when the explosion goes off inside of the base, so you have the base of the... the base... You have the Do base. you have it here? You can, like, edit, like, the photo of it in here. I swear to God, it's in this closet over here. No, it's in the garage. Uh, you have the base of the potato cannon, which is... I made it like five inches wide. It's like a five inch wide pipe that I made, okay? And then there's the nozzle, which was about a th three or two and a half. It was a three inch pipe that goes the rest of the way. So the combustion happens in the, small, in the larger of the two chambers. The combustion sends the potato flying, blah, blah, blah. You know, you can science it up, whatever. Combustion causes the gas to, ex to expand, which sends the potato flying. The problem is with these is that when the combustion happens and the gas is, you know, find, you know, find the way to the potato, sometimes the potato is so lodged within the, the actual nozzle. Yeah, if the potato doesn't move when that explosion happens, the explosion's got to go somewhere and it's going to go out. Well, so the, the, yeah, the energy takes the path of least resistance. Now, if that potato isn't the path of least resistance, because somehow this happens, I don't know why, but the potato gets so lodged in there the the weakness isn't at the potato anymore it's at the base so the air goes right back out goes up and now you have the bottom of the comb combustion chamber is just sort of empty you know everything's trying to push out that way but if this the very end uh, potato okay. cannon you know can't fire it's going to go right back and it just blows up sometimes it happens in the the middle region you can put that picture over there. sometimes it happens in the middle region sometimes it happens in the actual nozzle itself and most of the time it happens at the base. The legality of these things is very on iffy. and off. Very <laughs> iffy. Um, debatable. Yeah, very debatable. You can have them. There's not a lot. You can't. You can't have them. Actually, making them is kind of like where it gets. If you are gonna have use one, please go out into the outside of city limits where it's okay to like where people shoot guns, and make sure when you do it, you have a remote firing start system. Ours is really bad. <laughs> we shoved a lighter. We tried to make it remote, but that didn't really well, the happen. Well, the original idea was to, like use a spark plug from a car. However, what this would what this would need <laughs> is like the entire ignition system of the car in order to fire the damn thing, because it takes so much power. To we didn't want to play with it, so we just shoved a lighter in there. And not very safe at all. Do not recommend it. It was a good experience, but 
definitely not something to try at home ever. And if you do, if you do want to use it in your science experiment, don't bring the damn thing to class. <laughs> like that's the worst mistake you could make. But I mean, in all in all reality, our intentions are good. We just have very bad execution of these. So I found I found the quote, not the quote. His uh, his signature thing. Okay. You're gonna love the first line. Long live bacon soap! <laughs> two exclamation points. Two, after. not one, but two. You could, you create, you could. You created a school memory I will never forget. Not impossible to do, but done nonetheless. Great idea and way to pull it off. Take care and stay in touch. Butler. And then he left his like little email. When you're in high school, you hate every moment of it. But as soon as you leave, you're going to miss all of the memories. That's pretty accurate. It really is true. Like, I really miss going to, like, chemistry class and us having those great ideas and being able to execute them. Like, the things that we we did in high school, we don't get to, like, go back and do again. Yeah. All those, all those memories, Garber. Uh, we did some of the things we did back then now we get in a lot more trouble. We would be in jail, <laughs> there would be fines to pay, our buttholes get raped, eee, just be an interesting time. So if you're in high school, cherish the moment. All throughout junior high and high school, we've always been these two characters do everything differently. Yeah. We don't fall. We don't like you know. We don't. We, you don't get. We don't. You don't give us a textbook and expect us to read it. Honestly, we take we're the just textbook. Hipsters. We just throw it out and we get like a different one. Yeah. One with explosions and shit. And we totally go off on this... We go off on all of these different tangents. But we always find our way going all, going full circle right back to the same solution. Whether we take the route that is given to us or the route that we give ourselves. We always end up at the same place. Should take the road less traveled. I think it's just more interesting. Mm -hmm. This is something that we've decided to do. It's the road less traveling. Not a lot of people you know, do that. Because a lot of people are, you know, afraid to go out there and that sort of thing. And it's, like, understandable. Some people don't actually want to do it. We actually want to do this. Yeah, you know, people are afraid to go outside their comfort zone. But I feel like if you do, you're going to learn a lot more than if you just follow what everybody else is doing to the note. If you go through trial and error and you do it your own way, you're going to take a lot more from it. Yeah, exactly. And you're in, in, in the process, you make a lot more... You, you create memories. Memories and experiences. Because, and you know... How many, how many of those kids do you think in chemistry class, you know, are going to remember, oh, we made, I remember making soap. That's all they're going to take out. I made soap one time. Do they remember that they made it with lard and, you know, they used borax and lye? Probably not. The reason why we can remember it so is because we went different. We took a whole different And we made it enjoyable. Viewpoint. We made it enjoyable, yeah. I mean, it's like, I'm always going to remember that I made soap with baking grease. Yeah. We made a talk show with that, and that's what led up into this. Don't take the, take the road less traveled. Not because it's different, but because it's more fun. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, that's what makes a good story, is because it's so outlandish. But in reality, we actually did these things. Like, yeah. This is, the facts of this are 100% true. Like, none of this is made up. Like, we actually did these things. All right, thank you everyone for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as usual. As usual. Not differently. It's just the same old, same old. Just your average video. <laughs> Nothing different about it at all. You folks take care. Bye-bye. Project so, that we never turned in. So, 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 so. We're going to start from the beginning here. Um... Turn on that light. What the fuck are you doing? What did you fucking hit me in the face? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Four minute bug front of like a can fire. You're the best, the best. <laughs> I want everything to <laughs> All right, best. focus. We just we can do this in one take, okay? <laughs> it's okay. It's just it's just too easy.
laughing and fun. Just fuck off for 30 <laughs> seconds. Oh my goodness. Why do you, why do you keep looking at me? You done? You're just sitting there just like, you done yet, bitch? You done? Hey, how's it going? People are waiting. Fuck you. You. <laughs> You're the only people. <laughs>